guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dementia. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back again to the channel that is your home for tech toys and talk. And of course, the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. So we're back again. This time we're doing a special unbox. This was actually an Ollie's pickup. We got the G.I. Joe Cobra Hiss Tank. Or Hiss 3, as they call it. Now, usually, I wouldn't jump on anything like this because it is a 3 and 3 quarter figure. Now, I am not a 3 and 3 quarter collector in any shape or form. But, I saw this, and then I saw the price point, $12.99. That's kind of a no-brainer right there, guys. It truly is a no-brainer. So, I said, you know what, this would be something cool, and I'm actually thinking of doing some hate mods on here. But, let's unbox this first. There you go, I had to add a little bit of light right now because of my ring of light being completely out of commission. I am using this lamp. I have literally just no ceiling light in here. We just had this cheap Walmart lamp and I kind of have it tilted because this ring light is completely dead. I need a new one. So, but that's my problem, guys. Now, guys, if you know, I recently got into G.I. Joe Classified Series and I got into it pretty pretty deep <laughs> uh, so much so that even this past week Hasbro had their 1027 events and they unveiled the G.I. Joe vamp that was a G.I. Joe Jeep from back in the day but now they made a six quarter or rather six inch figure uh, variants of it and man does it look freaking bad ass you see the picture right there I mean it looks so good and I mean for $99 a six inch figure with all the bells and whistles that it has, it is literally a no-brainer. Now, of course, I love this because this, this box alone has all the, like, the classic G.I. Joe art on it. I mean, this is exactly how it would have looked back in the day. There we go. No papers. That's it. Now, what is also cool, they also give us a little bio right here. You guys want to freeze the video so you can read it there you go so yeah the bio is part uh the file name booth uh fred t booth the third roll his driver primary specialty heavy equipment operator birthplace fall river a uh, mess there we go mean and fearless doesn't begin to describe rip it the guy knows only one thing destroy or be destroyed that's awesome. So, of course, we have all of our obligatory uh, ties here. So, let's just cut through them. Thanks to Bat Knife. There you go. We're almost there. Always put away and never towards yourself. So let's go ahead and check out. Yeah, so we get this nice navy blue. There's no decals up here on it just yet. We have, of course, the track, the treads. I like this. I like that they kind of gave us kind of a weathered kind of a look. Although, I am tempted to, and we got these kind of wheels here. I am kind of tempted to like stop the video and do some painting myself we get our guns because it's just going to sit right here you know now i was thinking of taking one of these and painting it all black to look like the his tank from uh, the hazlab which of course again i don't have however i would like to get However, what we'll do is we're going to unbox this. We're going to assemble this. But for 13 bucks, I can always buy, I can always go back to Ollie's and buy another one of these. And we could do paint on that and then we can compare the two. I think that would be kind of a fun video. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do, to buy another one of these and do a custom uh, paint job. Let me know. Let's pull everything out of here. We get a few more piezas. Now, back in the day, we had the O-ring figures, and obviously this is not an O-ring. At least I don't think so. You know, I mean, for a... 
I don't recall how much this was going for originally. But hey, for 13 bucks, we get a little figure here. Is he the most flexible, most articulated guy? No. But he doesn't have to be because he's a tank driver. Although I wish we got two guys. One to uh, man the uh, tank itself. Or the, the gunner. The gunner section. So, we get a little instruction books here. Of course. We also get some decals. Now, decals look a little beat up. But, that's okay. That's alright. That's okay, man. So we're going to set that off to the side. Now, because I have an affinity for Gundams, I do have some tweezers. We're going to use some tweezers for applying. Now, these tweezers are a little bit bent because I was trying to work on something the other day. So some of them got damaged. I mean, most of this is pretty self-explanatory to see right there. Voila. Now, let's take a look at the sticker placement. Now, see, you can see the sticker is a little beat up, but hey, that's okay. Now, let's see if we can get the front sensor, grill, light, whatever you want to call it. Let me see if I can get that out. There we go. See? Now the trick is going to be getting it perfectly in there. Is this... No, this doesn't come out like that. Okay, so we're back. So I had to get a little creative because it looks like the sticker itself was a little bit higher than the area that it's supposed to go into. So I just kind of pushed this in using this uh, curved tweezer I have. Just kind of ran it across the top to kind of push the top of it in. It does look bad. It does, it's not great, but it does look bad. So now we have our other stickers that we need to deploy. Okay. We're going to basically put everything on here first. Can we get this snapped in? Okay. So this is how we're going to do. We, there's a little groove right here. And a little protrusion right here. So we're going to kind of clip them in. And then snap. So it's all there together now. Now. First things first. We need the 813. Now that's not my area code. Although that would be something creative. I could do a label that says 716 because that's my area code. That's the area code for Western New York. So that would be kind of cool if I could put eight, uh, 716 on it. That would be kind of cool. There we go. Got that right there. The other one goes on the other side. Now you might want to, what I might do is might suggest that if you do this again, measure from this panel division right here, there's a little panel line right here, measure from there to there, and then repeat that same process because this label is actually pushed a little further up, but we're not going to, we're not going to worry about that. Again, this is a uh, $13 item, so I mean, come on. But if you want everything to look perfectly even, that's what I would suggest doing is take a little measurement from, from a certain panel line so you can get everything looking perfect. 
But hey, it's Cobra. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Again, I do highly recommend using some tweezers. I definitely think uh, that is going to help you for the most part. There we go. We have some Cobra decals, some Cobra emblems. Now, I want to I want to say that um, Toy Hacks, which is a website, might have extras if you ever need extra labels for your originals or even these reissue toys that they do, because uh, they do a lot of stuff for GI Joe. And I believe they've even branched out, uh, or sorry, for Transformers, and they just have been branching up, branching out with G.I. Joe. They also do some cardboard diorama sets, which I definitely think are great. Especially if you have bookcases, you need something to add a little bit of color to your uh, displays. I think that's definitely the way to go. Okay, so we're working on the last... Cobra emblem, which is going to go right on the back here. There we go. Now, okay, there are some V's that they have here, and they want us to place them on the uh, sides of the track of the treads. So I'm going to go ahead and do that very quickly. Very, very nice. Okay, they have it right here. Let me just move this over here so you guys can see a little bit better. Sorry about that. Let me just fix the camera a little bit. Now, see, that's one thing. Putting the label over here, it is a clear label, but it definitely shows over this weathering. So I think if I do move on to do the paint project, that I would actually paint this whole thing first, apply this, this decal on it, and then do some weathering afterwards. I think that would give a much better look and aesthetic to it. At least that's my thought. But what are your, what are your guys' thoughts? Um, also, I think I would apply the stickers onto these sections, uh, this section and this, this section separately, because they want us to put a decal in here, but they show us doing that after the vehicle's been assembled. And it's kind of weird. At least it is if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, what do I know? I'm just a consumer, right? Let's see if we can get that in just right. I think that looks pretty good. Oops, sorry. But as you can see, I was able to get it right in the crevice. I just think it's easier if we don't have the tank tread on there first. It'd be easier. But also, if I paint this whole thing, I can add some col different color tones here so I can paint the components separately. We'll have, uh, I think, I, the, the, the more I'm talking about I think I definitely want to do a video like that. But again, guys, it's going to be up to you. I want you guys to let me know if you want me to do a video like that. Do you want me to get another one of these and to actually do uh, another video in assembly, but also do the painting on it? It's, I honestly don't think it's going to be, be that invasive that hard of a thing to do but let me know if you guys even want to see it to begin with because ultimately it's what you guys want me to do if you want me to, i mean i i i definitely want to do it myself but it just matters whether that whether or not you guys want me to actually record me doing it okay you did it right underneath that little that little piece There we go. It's actually pretty straight for the most part. We got that right there, as you guys can see. Okay, what do we have left? 
we have the 2 slash 2 1 on both sides. We have the 8 1 3. We have the SMB A. And we have the V in the circle on both sides. So that is done. That is done. That is done. We have the Cobra emblems there. We have a little mini tank, a little his tank symbol right here that we need to grab and actually apply. Another thing is I could try, I could get two of these, two more of these that is, and maybe I try and do one that's kind of G.I. Joe colors instead, kind of flip the script on it. But what do you think about that as well? Let me know again in the comment section below if you want me to do that. I mean, I am no pro, but I think it would be a fun little project for us to do here on the channel. So they want it down here. That seems kind of odd, but okay. I will roll with it. And another thing, they have, the decal is blue trim, so it kind of gets lost on this. Let me just turn this around. I mean, you can kind of see it, but I mean, it, it kind of gets lost. At least that's my, uh, my vibe, my opinion. Hey, but what do I know? Almost done. We are almost done with this, guys. Okay, there's that. Okay. We have that decal to do. We only have two more decals left, guys. We're almost done. There we go. Now this one goes... Oh, that actually goes on the front. Okay. It goes actually across the tank tread here. Trying to get that perfectly. Um, easier said than done, obviously. But there we go. Of course, we have the cover lens here, but we're not going to put that shield up there just yet. Okay, so we have to apply the controls to the gunner. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had a little hiccup. OBS crashed while I was recording. We applied the final Cobra emblem right here on the gunner chair. We also applied the control label right there. The instructions are fairly simple, but I definitely think that if we do for, if we do go forward with the with the custom paint project, I'm definitely thinking of doing getting two more of these. One I want to do GI Joe style, and one I want to do black and do some weathering, and I definitely want to do this uh, proper because I mean it's nice that they kind of did a weathering. But it almost looks like they just did finger smudges in some spots. Um, I definitely want to do a custom look. And I would actually do the... I would do a clean paint here. Apply the label here. And then do weathering after the fact. I think that's going to make a whole lot of sense right there. Uh, add some... Maybe some silver parts. Like as if the uh, paint was chipping and rusting. Maybe some brown ember for like some blast marks or, or something. I want to add some different tones to the components that appear under here. Maybe even apply two different tones to show as if, you know, different different parts of metal. Or like different sections were kind of made. I want to add just a little bit more life to it, so to speak. Uh, but guys, what do you think? What do you think of this project? I mean, not bad for 13 bucks, but... I think we ha can have a little bit more fun, especially since the actual his tank that has lab funded is actually black. So that's why I want to do that black one. But back in the days when I was growing up, G.I. Joe's and Cobra were basically had, for the most part, a lot of their vehicles were almost, almost identical. They were just kind of like swapped around as far as the color schemes. 
Um, so this is definitely something I would like to do. But guys, I want you to let me know. In the comment section below, do you want me to do a special, do you want me to get another one of these or two and do some special paints? Do special paint applications to it. Is that a project you guys would like to see me do? Because, I mean, I can, I'm probably going to do it myself, but whether or not I film it, that is what I'm asking you guys for. Let me know in the comment section below if you definitely want to see me do that kind of a video. But guys, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, as always, if you ever have any comments, questions, concerns whatsoever, you can always direct them either in the comment section below or on my socials at Dave's underscore dimension at Gmail. Or sorry, Dave's underscore dimension on Instagram. Dave's dimension 78 at gmail.com. And of course, if you, if anyone out there is inclined to help out the channel, you know, in any monetary ways, we also have a PayPal that you can actually donate directly to as well. It's not required, but it would be greatly appreciated if you want to help out the channel. You don't have to, but it helps us out in the long run. But guys, I really like how this, you know, how, you know, what this is for the cost of it. But I definitely think we can, we can breathe a little bit more life. I mean, this looks a little too green. You know, the, the track part, the tank part, I definitely think we can do much better with it. I think we can have a little bit more fun. I think we can add some different colors to it. And I definitely think this could be turned into something even tremendous. And I think it'd be cool to kind of do a comparison between this, a painted one, and maybe, who knows, maybe we'll do like a special G.I. Joe style one. Um, now, there is a site I mentioned before called Toy Hacks, which I want to show you guys right now. Now, th guys, this is what I was talking about. This is a site called ToyHacks.com, uh, a.k.a. RepoLabels.com. Uh, these guys have been around for several years. When I had my Transformer collection, I was getting new labels for them to upgrade and also to restore some vintage ones. Uh, these guys are tremendous. I have, by the way, full disclosure, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I'm just a big fan of what they do. So literally, you can go and search for different different figures, different types of toys. I mean, they do toy labels, stages, armory. So that, like for Transformers, they can actually reprint some of the other weapons toy stages okay let's say you're gi joe or we got transformers we got tmnt masters universe and of course for gi joe let's say we wanted the uss flag we got the american flag right there as a background okay let's say we wanted to do uh let's say hq front there we go we got that for for the background how awesome is that right there I mean, they have like different sizes and you can just, you know, fold them out. I think that looks really great. Um, they, I mean, they do tons of stuff, guys. I mean, you want Transformers? They got Transformers, you know? They have like so many different things that they can do. And I mean, like I said, they do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's say you wanted the, you know. Technodrome in Dimension X. I mean, they have tons of stuff here. And they will work with the fans. They are really great. I've been uh, an avid follow, follower of theirs for several years now. Uh, they do other toys. Let's say you're a Power Ranger fan. That's right. You want you, know, you want new labels to, that have been faded off of your Zords? They got you covered. They, you want to restore your Morpher? Bam, they got the decals right there, guys. I mean, they cover you for everything, but just about. Uh, now, the stages, they have a lot of different stages for, like, stages for all, like, general. You know, let's just say you have, I mean, you can use this for Ninja Turtles. You can use this for um, NECA's uh, Gargoyles. There's a lot of different stuff. You, I mean, you can use this for DC Universe. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do this with, guys. Um, I definitely highly recommend checking them out. Uh, they also have done emblems in the back. I've done, like, I've gone for, like, Transformers and gotten uh, Autobots and Decepticon symbols all the time. Uh, they've done that. Let's see here. Uh, here, restoration sets. Let's say you have, you know, you want to look for vehicles that were out between 1982 and 
1989. I mean, they have... Take a look at this. You got something like this. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. We can do something like that, but maybe the Joe variant. I mean, take a look at it. We can take stuff like this, and we can put it on a his tank to make it look like it was a G.I. Joe captured his tank. And, you know, we can do tons of stuff here. There's a lot we can play around with. Yes, that is for the Sams, but, I mean, it's, I mean, there's just an example of what you can do. Okay? It's just one little example on what you can do. And I think that's just awesome. Uh, here, all markings. So, let's say you wanted uh, J.I. Joe, UK, or Canada. You want name tags. You want numbering. You want emblem sets. They have them. They have them right here. There you go. You want the Night Force. There you go. They got it. Um, again, I just think that they are a very awesome resource for any and all of your toy needs. Whether it's vintage toys or the new reissues and you want to step it up or you want to do some creative, uh, creative designs, you can do that right here. So I highly recommend checking them out. They're an awesome site. Um, from time to time, you may find that some of their items are out of stock. But guess what? Give it enough time or just let them know. And they will hook you up like a tow truck. Okay, now here's the Sigma 6 G.I. Joe, which I do kind of like. I do like the symbols on here. You know, I like how this tread is or how the uh, font is. It's just awesome, guys. But guys, I think that's enough. What do you say? I mean, I think I think right there, it's just, it's just awesome, awesome setup. So guys... If, again, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. And also, as always, let me know in the comment section below. And please, if you're not already subscribed, hit that red button. Hit that bell for notifications. And guys, until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting. And you know what I'm going to say. I will always catch you on the flip side. Take care.